I'm here with Steve Farmer, Senior Director with Wushi Biologics. Before we start talking about bioprocessing, can you tell us a little bit more about your organization? Absolutely. Uh, Wushi Biologics is a contract service provider. We offer open access technology platforms in the areas of biologics discovery, uh, developments, meaning CMC development like cell line development, upstream and downstream process development, as well as GMP manufacturing of drug substance, as well as drug product. What we can offer a client is take them from the moment they understand what their target is, we can provide all the services they need to do, including the critical preclinical studies such as DMPK, toxicology, uh, to perform all those activities to get them into clinical trials and even beyond the commercialization of their therapeutic. Do you see momentum in continuous manufacturing approaches? Yeah, w one of the big things that uh, we have done is we've made significant investment in this area for our clients. Uh, we can perform small-scale process development-like activities within cell culture, um, within continuous processing. We use ATF replicant systems, as well as we can take them large-scale and, and, and scale up to two by 1,000 liter type of production at, in GMP large-scale using the ATF replicant systems. For a particular client, we've developed a capture step that is also using a continuous bioprocessing approach. Now, there are a lot of challenges to downstream purification, the different unit operation steps that are required for downstream purification. It's very difficult to do that on a continuous basis. But, you know, we're working with vendors such as Biorad uh, to, you know, evaluate how we can start to improve because the industry wants to desperately move to this era where we could have one continuous manufacturing operation instead of doing everything in a stepwise by stepwise fashion. With the advancements and increased use in single-use bioprocessing systems, where has Wushi taken advantage? Well, we've been able to take advantage of all the benefits that single-use systems provide. A lot of that is in risk reduction. Uh, one of those would be in contamination, right? Uh, single-use systems are great for re really reducing the risk of a contamination event and its impact on the, the overall downstream process. Also, single-use systems are ideal for multi-product manufacturing facilities. So what that means is that as a contract manufacturer, uh, we have different clients with different types of products and single-use systems al allow us to be able to really reduce the risk of any product-to-product -product contamination that comes through our facility uh, from the various types of projects that we perform. Also, single-use systems have a, a very fast turnaround time in manufacturing, meaning there is no cleaning such as uh, SIP and CIP that's required between the different manufacturing runs. Uh, so single-use systems really can speed up the ability for us to move from one project to the next. Next is um, scale up, right? There is an inherent risk with your product when you scale from, uh, up from small scale to a very large scale manufacturing production system. Uh, there's a lot of changes that could take place within the, the characteristics of your molecule. You know, there's always this risk associated with getting ready to scale up for large scale manufacturing. What single-use systems allow, and if you are able to scale out in single-use systems going from maybe using one 2,000 liter single-use system to four to six single-use bioreactor systems, uh, you can really reduce the, the risk of having to do any type of scale-up work and any effects to your molecule. Also, from a market demand perspective, there is a lot of flexibility that can be utilized using single-use systems in a multi-bioreactor single-use program. What I mean by that is once you get into commercial supply, you could start with three by 2,000 liter bioreactors to perform and provide the supply to, to the market. As your demand goes up, the, the beauty of scaling out using single-use systems is that you could then go to six by 2,000 liter bioreactor systems, and it's a much easier validation package that's associated with that. It's much faster, and it's a lot more flexible. Let's take the worst case scenario. Let's say demand isn't as high as you would like it to be. You can actually scale back using single-use bioreactor platforms. So that approach allows you to move regardless if your demand goes way up or if your demand goes down much more cost effectively and much more faster than if you tied into a single, very large scale bioreactor uh, system. Beyond the normal attributes of speed, cost, and quality, what else are clients looking for in a bioprocess contract service? Sure, all those factors are absolutely critical, but you can't execute on those if you do not have the appropriate expertise. And, and one thing our organization has been able to do, more so than many CMOs or other contract service providers, is bring industry expertise to our organization. Um, and this is across multiple disciplines, uh, from R&D level activities all the way to GMP, uh, manufacturing as well as quality and that's probably our biggest strength is just the sheer 
industry expertise that we're able to bring to the table to help with your programs and help you get it done right first time and into the clinical trials. The other aspect of bringing in you know, folks from the industry to work at a service provider is that we have been on the other side of the table, right? These people have been, they have worked with contract service providers in the past or contract manufacturers, and so they know how they want to be treated. They know how the communication, uh, of what effective communication is. And so from that perspective, we bring that approach and that insight into every interaction we have with our clients. In addition to you know just having that expertise, you know every contract manufacturer and any type of drug manufacturer needs a stable supply of raw materials uh, to help you know feed the eventual operations. That's where we utilize suppliers such as BioRad, uh, who can provide that consistent, high-quality supply of materials, both at an R&D and process development stage, but also for, uh, for large-scale GMP manufacturing. In addition. There is a, um, a lot of novel biologic therapeutic approaches that are taking place within the industry right now, including ADCs, fusion proteins, bispecific antibodies, fab fragments, and so on. So that requires a level of expertise. And this is, again, where we utilize an organization such as BioRad uh, to help us design what that downstream purification program is going to look like. So we rely on our supplier network to, to really enhance what we're able to provide our clients as well. Thank you, Sid. That was very interesting talking to you. Yeah, and I appreciate the time with you guys today. Yeah. Thanks. Okay.